L-L-C-O-X. I myself um, have been a CYT student, an alumni, a teacher, a director, a volunteer, a staff member, and I am a CYT parent. Today, I am the president of Christian Youth Theatre. We are heartbroken and devastated about the experiences of former students of our program that were recently shared on social media. Our first priority is the health and safety of these individuals who have come forward. We encourage anyone who is dealing with trauma of any kind to reach out to certified um, credentialed professionals and ask for help and counsel. Uh, the San Diego Sexual Assault Response Team or the Adult su 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 uh, sorry, the Adult Survivors of Child Sexual Abuse Organization. We will putting those links on our website for further reference, but we truly encourage if you are in that state right now, please reach out for help. If you are a victim of a or have witnessed a crime of any kind of abuse, please contact the San Diego District Attorney's Office. Over the past eight days, we have been internally investigating all of these situations in depth. It is our understanding at this time that these accounts took place before my time as president, and some of which date back over 25 years. With this in mind, we do not want to rush while we conduct these investigations thoroughly and carefully. Although there are no current cases against CYT San Diego involving law enforcement, we have directly reached out to our local authorities. We have been actively cooperating with multiple organizations, including San Diego Sex Crimes Unit, El Cajon Police Department, and the San Diego Police Department. We are doing everything we can to be sensitive and fully understanding the gravity of this situation. We will do whatever it takes to find healing, restoration, and resolution with every individual affected as we move forward. Our promise is to be transparent with every individual and to do so in a safe setting out of respect for our former students and their families. This will not be a trial by Facebook. Over the past 40 years, we have had over 50,000 students take classes, camps, and participate in shows while acting, singing, and dancing. And we believe we have made an overwhelming positive impact on their lives, as well as in our local community as a whole. Our goal is, is to continue to do so for the next 40 years. During the past week, we have had an outpouring of support from CYT alumni off social media platforms who have shared their positive and life-changing experiences. In the most recent few years as a company, we have made huge changes in staffing as well as shifting many hiring practices and for the better. We have implemented new safety protocols and procedures to ensure the requirements for child safety are met and exceeded. We have a deep desire to continue for restructuring, improvement, and evolving in many ways as we move forward. Our mission for CYT is to develop character and creativity in kids of all ages through quality theater arts training that brings families and communities together while reflecting the creator. Currently, there are three steps we have most recently been put into action, um, how to help the culture of CYT um, to be progressive. We have started one, a diversity committee, and you can read about it and join in the conversation with us by going to cytglobal.org slash news. Two, we are looking at the traditional model of our programming with the structure of chapters, production teams, and staff to address and diminish any kind of favoritism, nepotism, or discrimination. That will not be tolerated in our program. And three, reflection. We are not afraid to look in the mirror and see our blind spots. We are open for change to progress forward and to be the example for all programs who work with the youth. We are fully committed to the safety of every single child and we are grieving for every single individual whom we love and care so deeply for who are hurting right now. We apologize and love you. Due to the current climate with COVID's impact, we have decided to discontinue our programming in San Diego for the fall session. 
Additionally, the San Diego branch will remain dark until further notice in order to get the right and the right focus that we solely want to focus on these ongoing investigations and make the necessary improvements required to bring restoration, healing, and create a strong culture where kids and parents can feel safe to build their talents, to be confident, kind, God-loving humans. We want to take as much time as it's required to dive deeper into our mission, to be able to make this world a better place for generations to come, including my own daughters. We welcome anyone who would like to reach out, and we would like to share their CYT experience. So please contact us directly. We want to hear from you at 619-588-0206 or contact us at CYTSanDiego.org. We are here to listen. We are here to learn in humility and in passion and we love and support our entire CYT family. We are strong. Thank you so much for that. Uh, since 2017. I did not until it all came out on social media, but I don't want to engage in the dialogue online and until we've been able to fact find and do the investigation and get more information in order to move forward, forward with restoration. Okay. Just respecting the privacy of, of each individual and what's come out and we understand they've been um, vocal about it, but there's others involved and so do, we just want to be respectful to that and um, be able to do our work to be able to understand it, because no, I was not involved in those to understand um, what was that leadership then. There was a teacher hired over the past few years who had complaints against him over the past 20 years, and apparently parents came to you guys and raised these concerns, and now I've seen the emails. And there is, um, I, again, I don't know what individual you're talking about, so if you want to disclose that in public, but I can't answer that without knowing the name that you're referring to. Um, about Tony and through Alyssa High, a very uh, public investigation by the Voice of San Diego mm -hmm. at the time. Uh, he was cleared of criminal wrongdoing, however, as early recently as spring of this year, he was uh, teaching an online class and he continued to be rehired after that scandal broke. And specific emails from you indicating that you're going to hire him. And that those classes never went to fruition, so he has not taught for us since that and there has been no paycheck or nothing involved in him getting that. So again, to be respectful for in the privacy for people, um, we'd like to do, again, more some investigation on that and make sure that we have all the facts intact before uh, releasing it in a public statement. Was it you who said it came out said that one of your own family members has also? Me who came out? You came out and said that one of your family members mm -hmm. has had like yeah. Yes. Anything you can say about that? How it's you? Yeah. I mean, it's affected us greatly. Uh, my family's grieving, and um, we're hurting. But um, again, I'm not going to disclose any any information without protecting my family, and without protecting um, the individuals. And so, but yes, it it is a family. Um, I don't have that year off the top of my day, but oh, it was it was. 20 years ago, yeah. I was 12, I was 14 at the time. Do you think there was an element of Christian belief that looks towards forgiveness mm. that may have enabled some of these teachers to remain on with your organization and perhaps even be counseled by your father after allegations came forward? I can't answer that in that I don't have enough knowledge to know what that what those decisions were made at that time and that's part of our investigation to find out and we are committed to finding out and we are committed to being transparent about what that could have been but I can't speak on behalf of what that belief would be at that time um, but again as we want to move forward to be able to show if that was something that happened in the past how we can be progressive to to lean into our mission of being inclusive uplifting safe protecting our kids and um, moving forward is our goal in order to do that. 
um, and reflecting on what happened in the past, uh, do, bringing that restoration, apologizing for any, any misdoings if that were to be. But again, we're, it's too early to tell. Eight days of all this information coming up. We just need time. We need time to, to understand it all. Jamie, to clarify, up to this point, how many individuals are saying that they were molested or abused? Is it a dozen? Is it, you know, give us a The ones idea. that have come towards us is five or less. Five or less? Yes. How many? That have come towards us, come to, how to many us. How directors give a ballpark figure have been accused of uh, again, the ones that have come forward to us is three. Mm -hmm. Why was this Chula Vista High School teacher's photo back on your website in spring of this year as teaching an online class? He didn't, the class didn't go through. He didn't, never was in front of children. Yes. Oh, I, I, yeah. guess I know there yeah. were several parents were Again, I, I want to respect each individual, so it's getting into some of the, the nitty-gritty. We'll, we'll come forward with it, but at this time, um, we've said what CYT is wanting to do, and uh, we're willing to work with anyone. But again, we're going to do it in a private matter and not publicly on the platform to you know really respect um, the individuals involved. So thank you guys again so much for being here. Appreciate you. Absolutely. Every single person has a background check, criminal background check, can, can sexual predator background check. Sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. Yes. What we. Clarify on what does it mean to shift your hiring practices? Um, and that we have more protocol. In fact, uh, Loxie Gant, she came in and consulted with us um, last year. Um, we spent a few days with her as she helped us um, put in those protocols. She did a workshop with us at our expo. and. Um, and that has been part of a shifting of just making more protection. But every teacher is background checked. Every teacher is ran through Megan's Law. Every teacher is ran through all of that. And so is our staff. So is our, uh, we have uh, parents who have to sign forms and everything. So we've got a lot in place. And again, we'd love to share this information with you. Just email us and ask, and we'll get you that information. And you can see our protocols in writing and in documentation. So, Robbie, yep. You Thank you so much. Yeah.